Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. This is your brother Wasil Bay, and we are Sham Stoppers. On this Saturday night, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you see the title of this video, right? The, I mean, the title of this article, right? You know I'm finna tear it up. I was forced to raise my kids in Texas for 14 years. So the title of this video is called Forced to be Responsible. Forced to be Responsible. Forced to be Responsible. People, it's in her nature to raise her children. How can you force her to raise her own children when she was in the bed getting that dick? Did the dude force to fuck her to make them to, to nut up in her? Look like she enjoyed it, don't it? That's a hell of a force and when you when you're there for 14 years, right? Makes no sense. Pamela Kirkpipe could only leave Texas if she left her kids, so she stuck it out. Well, you know what she should have did? She should have left her kids with her husband. That's what she should have did. Because Now she want to tell the little stories about how her daughter seen cows. Women are children, brothers. 98% of women on this planet are children. And you got only that few. I, only, I, I think it's in the old point something that's responsible. Yeah. Yeah, man. How the fuck she is forced to do something by nature? Huh? Just look at this story, man. Just look at this shit. We finna break this shit down. My husband Bob and I nearly, I never truly got along. Our temperaments clash for one Bob is your master, bitch. You ain't supposed to be clashing with the master. And that's why you was forced to do that shit because Bob is a boss. Fellas, I'm gonna do a video of boss bitch versus a boss's bitch. Okay? Because a boss's bitch will always rule a boss bitch. Because a boss bitch is by herself claiming that she's strong because I never met a strong woman in a day of my motherfucking life. <laughs> they said, she said that temperaments clash mightily even when we chose to marry a decade earlier. Now let me tell you something, fellas. When you get on your knee and that woman says she will marry you, Y'all just made an oral contract right there, right? That was an oral contract. Did you niggas know that? And you putting a ring on her finger signifies that she is your property. That's just like a branding of a cow. When, you, when those ranchers brand that cow, that's their property. That's the ring. Y'all didn't know that right. See how cold that shit is?
And people, this ain't legal advice. This is the law. I don't give out legal advice because I don't know what the fuck that shit is. In Texas, the fifth state I moved to for his career. Where's her motherfucking career? Huh? She arguing with the breadwinner. She broke. Because this bitch tried to be dirty and do some dirty shit behind his back and the shit backfired. Let me read the rest of this story and I'll show y'all where the shit backfired at. We lost respect. No, bitch, you lost respect for him. You was disobedient. When we we were mean, no, bitch, you was mean. We led a separate emotional lives. No, you was emotional. Contemplating my children's ages in 2002, I weighed the consequences of staying or going. Now, you ain't had no choice because your ass was broke. Then I found a subpoena in the mailbox. Yeah, because you can't say shit because this nigga got money. If you don't pay shit, you can't say shit. And he who has the money rules. Because money answers all fucking things. My eyes flew over the pages. Bob had filed a motion for divorce. Fault grounds were not required. I must say that I wasn't... I wasn't alone until I landed on the words geographic restriction and within the county line section 153-1A1 of the Texas Family Code will restrain me in Dallas until my children left for college. That was 14 more years. As certain states, the non-custodial parent, the one whom the children reside in minority of the time, in this case, my daughter's father is protected by the policy that supports access to the kids. You know why? That motherfucker's the breadwinner. He's a fucking boss. See, that's what they ain't telling y'all. You niggas. Being white, Mexican, whatever you want to crayon you want to say you is. Stop letting these hoes pimp your motherfucking ass. Bob could allow, could allow a relocation beyond the physical limits set by the court. But if he chose not to, the children had to remain. Bob chose not. It's what Bob wants because Bob got that bread. She don't. She got to give head. Bob got the bread. She got to give head. Hey, let's talk about what she did when Bob went around, when they separated. Who, did she, who she was fucking and sucking. Cause you know she got horny, got lonely. Ain't a such thing as a single mother. It's a mother by her motherfucking self with children. You guys better realize that. Stop saying this old dumbass, silly ass shit. It's Saturday night. Sunday will be here in sunrise. No, it ain't Sunday at midnight. You've been lied to. I'm sorry. Okay. This is the greatest channel on YouTube, motherfucker. He filed for divorce in Texas, so she raised her daughters there. He filed for it. Y'all need to take a y'all look. Y'all need to take some pointers from Bob. That's what the bitch said. I felt dizzy and not nauseated. Went into the yard. Wooden planks fixed in the lawn. A gated door locked with a bolt. The air heaven with August heat. And ripples rose up from the stone. I walked to the perimeter, turning the corners like a wind-up soldier. The sun burning me up. Texas was flaming. Hell right then. Now she sounds so good. She sounds so fucking good, right? But retarded at the same. It's these people that sound so good. On the motherfucking reporting shit on paperwork, but dumb as I don't know what. Don't have common fucking sense. You going to prison me here? I remember asking him standing in the kitchen. He said nothing and went upstairs for work at the time. That nigga work. He ain't got time for no disobedient bitch. 
He spent nearly half of the month in New York or Boston. That nigga's a boss. I believe that he would have seen our daughters as much as he would have in Texas, which was the law's intent. Confirming me like... Confining me felt like punishment. In time, I felt like incarceration. See that? He was doing, Bob was doing his job because he's the master. Despite these conditions, even a landmark state Supreme Court victory for someone like me just months earlier. My lawyer said in Dallas, judges restricted parents automatically from leaving the county. Worse, they said that if I contested limits, I could face a countersuit and perhaps lose my children altogether in 2004. I stopped thinking about going home. Hey, Bob got that bread. He works. You niggas, why y'all ain't working? To stay ahead. Huh? Of course, the attorneys reminded me that the constraint only affected the children and that I was free to go by myself. Ooh. Bitch, that's what you should have did. Ain't nobody force your stanky ass to stay. Bob could have got his children and got him a fucking nanny. He could have got him a fucking nanny. And that's it. If there's a mother who would consider that, they also said that if I fled with my daughters, I'd be rounded up and tossed in prison in an orange suit under Texas Penal Code. I've been charged with parental kidnapping. Y'all ready for this? Kid. When I was in college, people, I was a freshman in college, my English teacher told me to stop saying the word kid. And I used to wonder. She was a lady that played the piano for a church and she spoke great English. A kid is a goat. That's what she told me. A goat. Scandinavian. You see that? Kidnap. Go sleep. Nap means to sleep. To steal the young children. And tutor. That's what we are, people. We tutors over here. We fucking tutors. And you will be successful. I guarantee you that, especially if you have some belief when you bring your ass over here. But if you got that doubt, talking about it's a guarantee, you just done fucked yourself in the ass and you're going to be that woman's bitch. <laughs> Excuse me. Slang means a child. Nap is our nab. Not nap. It's supposed to be child nabbing. Not kid nap. See that? See, go read this story. Bob got me remarried again. He found him a woman that was obedient. Check this out. Within weeks, their father rented an apartment and a mile away. He paid for the house for six months. After that, the girls and I moved to a home one third the size. And Texas assets are generally split in half. Monthly child support is determined by income, 800 per child. In our case, an alimony is rarely awarded. 800 per child. So this bitch is getting $1,600, right? $1,600. And she still can't make it. Dude, it only costs $66 to feed a child. What the fuck are these hoes doing with this money? Huh? As a primary parent, I knew that I needed to be home when my kids were at home. So I wrote So I wrote from a spare room, tutored, 
took any assignment available three times for a reliable paycheck. I tried full-time positions out of the house, but each time my employers couldn't tolerate the fact that I need to take my kids to school or be back for dinner by six. You see that? In 2005, my ex-husband remarried, but nothing changed. Hey, fellas, hit us up. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up, man. Don't get no advice from no losers. If it's people on here talking about they lost, how the fuck you gonna learn from a loser? Alright? Hit us up. Peace.